But if we go like that, of course you do. That's fine. It's okay. Ouch. Ow, Chase. Gotcha. Okay. What's up, people? I'm so back on Halfway Modded. And I did it again, guys. I did it again. I added more mobs. I'm actually part of a, uh, a Discord group that has a few hundred modders and YouTubers and players and artists and all kinds of... It's it's a marvelous group. I'm actually really, really, really liking, uh, you know, being in this group. But there's a lot of modders in there, and these guys have a bunch of mods out. And I, I kind of put my pack out there. It was like, hey, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know if you have any mods. Anyway, some of these I found myself. Some of these are were suggested based on that comment I made in that chat. But Random Things, I finally gave in. Random Things is a mod that adds a huge amount of stuff. Absolutely, well, I say huge amount of stuff like it's like uh, and all be all everything. But for for a single mod, it's ridiculous. Actually, it's it's, it's a whole lot of stuff. Uh, there are some texture breaking in the pack as well. Like you can see, the item collector here is uh, it's a little bit broken. It's a little bit broken. I don't know why. I need to look into that. Uh, Batania also has some broken textures as well that I need to look at. Uh, I don't know why this is happening, but yes, something is happening, and it's probably due to my texture pack. I need to find a way to make it not broken. Next up is my little mob grinder. My little, uh, white. Wait, oops, oops, oops. Okay, so this thing is, well, it goes a little bit further than I was originally intending for mob grinding, but I'm okay with it now. I've, I've kind of loosened my grip on, on the restrictions I was putting on the pack and I'm willing to go a little bit further. As long as we don't go into power generation and power usage, I'll be okay, uh, I think. I think that's pretty much the, the where I'm at right now because in my mind, the other half of mod packing, since this thing is called Halfway Modded, is the power generation stuff. Like, there's so much in that area of power that it usually overpowers a pack. And it's just ridiculous. So as long as we don't get into that, I think we'll be okay. But this guy right here has spikes to kill the mobs. All right, that's cool. Has spider-proof blocks. OMG, guys. I'm telling you, these are magnificent. It's the, one of the first times I've done it. Uh, my little mob grinder is fantastic. Uh, this is from a modder in the group. Lemon something something. I don't know. He or she. I apologize. I don't know <laughs> the gender of this person. But... Uh, they make a lot of mods, actually, and I, I've seen a few of them around, but this spider-proof block, I gave this person props because it's one of the first time I've actually ever seen a spider-proof block, and it really, really drew me in. That's why I'm actually here. These conveyors are actually ridiculously overpowered. Like, this thing, the extreme conveyor, will fling a mob probably 15 blocks away from it if it's only one block off the ground. Like, 15 blocks. Like, it, foom! This is like a slingshot. It's crazy. It's pretty, pretty kind of ridiculous. Um, it's kind of cool though. It's kind of cool to see it, but I think it does need to be nerfed and it probably will be. I'm going to start talking to this, uh, this person here to see if that's a thing they intended or if not, just kind of give them an example to see if they want to fix it. I don't know, but, uh, I'm going to do that later. So it'll be a thing. Anyway, cravings is the next one. This one is just kind of a small little mod. Every once in a while, and I haven't gotten one yet, so I don't know what it looks like, but you will get a craving for a particular food. That list of food that it can be... Why are we missing the glass block? Why is that a thing? That, that, that list of food that you can get a craving for is automatically generated by all the food available in the game. So having Pam's Harvest Craft will actually make it more difficult. Um, and it can actually go and... Yeah, you, know, you, you could request one of those, and it could be the most difficult food ever, and you have to find a way to make it and eat it. If you eat that food, you get a buff. If you don't, you get a debuff, and there is a time limit, so there's a thing. It's just kind of an interesting little extra thing that, uh, that we could do. I need to get the, the numbers on here, because I, re I removed Wayla, which gave me the numbers in the tooltip, or in the, uh, the um, tooltip, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so I don't exactly know how many... How many chicken I have in there until I get the number label on there. But anyway, it doesn't matter now. Moving on, Better Records is also another really, really cool one. Uh, better Records, here we go. 
Basically, this mod allows you to make your own records using the record etcher, and you can record it in the player, or you can play the record in the player, or a frequency, you listen to the radio maybe, hook up some strobe lights and lasers to make it look all fancy and look like a rave. You can also extend the range by hooking up some speakers. This is a fully in-depth mod. Now the cool thing is that you can make your own records, meaning you can put your own music into this game. And you can wire up your entire bass with this stuff. And I'm sure there's a way to automate the putting in and taking out of records. So you can make a system where you have music going 24-7 throughout, throughout your entire base. Just like some people do have in their real, real, uh, real actual houses, which is really kind of cool. Colorful Sheep is a very simple little mod. Basically, all it does is random generation of sheep can now spawn in every single color of the rainbow. Every, every single color Minecraft has to offer can now be... Uh, naturally spawned. Sheep can naturally spawn in that color, so it's pretty cool. I also have not removed any of that for some reason. I still have not removed that. Uh, why? I, I don't know. I kind of forgot about it. I also haven't removed those things, which are not supposed to be there, but whatever. It is what it is. Anyway, so before I take too much time, I know I've already taken a little bit of time, before I take too much time going over this stuff, uh... I want to go ahead and get on with things. I told you today, since it's a kind of a bonus episode, you normally would not have had an episode out today. I wanted to go ahead and get a little bit of progress done. I don't know how far we're going to get, because now we have a lot of things to play with. And I'm not sure what I want to do, but I told you it was going to be progress. And I think we want to deal with these guys. I think we want to hook these things up, because it's going to be pretty cool. Maybe. I don't know, because I, eh? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do uh, just yet. But what I do know is that if we go over here into this little place, off in the yonder distance, we have this vertical line of blocks. This is the center of where our old mob farm used to be. So if I can somehow land on this thing and possibly build on this thing, this can be where our, uh, yep, yeah, I missed. This can be where our new mob farm, using that other stuff, can be. What are you and why are you floating in the nothingness? I'm going to remove you now, because I think I can. Yeah, I made it. Can I suck it up? There it goes. Okay. I made it. Okay, magnet. Now we're going to be good. Now I could have sucked that up from the... I don't know. I think that was a cool little thing. Oh, oh let me go ahead and say this right near the beginning of the bit. Near. I say near, because I missed the be actual beginning. If you like the video, please do hit the like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe to see more. Thank you for listening to that. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. Um, I have... Okay. I say I have. A buddy of mine has actually altered the original idea that I had. And now we have a very, very cool idea... For these guys, when they fall from the top, we're not going to mess with those now because I think the idea needs to be fleshed out a little bit more. Decisions need to be made about it and designs need to be generated for it. But it is a fabulous friggin' idea and I think it's going to be amazing if we can actually get it to work right. But uh, for now, we need to deal with these spawners. I need to figure out what I want to do with these daggone spawners, man. Well, originally, I was going to go up here, but I have changed my mind. And then the biggest reason for this is because getting a design that floats in the middle of nowhere with absolutely no context around it is unbelievably difficult. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with the base when it gets out here. Chances are the pattern's going to continue around the outside, and that's all good and well. But what the crap is going to go in the middle, right? Because I, I, I have no idea. Uh, and even over here, the little bit that I've done way off on this side is already kind of up in the air on whether or not it's going to stay put. Um, I did go ahead and get the numbers in here. It's a little hard to see, but you can't actually see it, so that's fine. But, yeah, so you don't really know. Like, developing a design out of thin air and actually having it fit into the base is unbelievably difficult. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put another temporary one down. Um, and it's gonna go, I'm thinking, like, right on top of that hill or something. Just somewhere out of the way that I can actually get to easily. 
Uh, and we're gonna do it out of a different method. Originally, I was gonna do a fall trap, but now that we have my little grinding mod or whatever it is called, uh, my little mob farm, maybe that I mean, that's what it was called. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so now that we have that, we're gonna do something a little bit different. That way we can bring it closer to the ground and I can possibly get experience out of it as well so that building the Enderman farm isn't as necessary uh, as it should be. And we can actually get onto some of the more creative and more amazing things. Uh, uh, that this mod pack offers like some of the Batania stuff or the simple storage network or maybe some exploration So I can increase the size of this guy or whatever whatever you get the idea So in order to do some of the my little thing a thing. I want the diamond spikes Okay, which means we need the iron swords and I'm thinking we might even need The diamond in it, which is really unfortunate because diamond spike it makes sense We do have a block of diamond in here, but uh, maybe I'm thinking originally this guy might actually have required diamond swords it makes sense and this guy here you see that it does not have the diamond gem thing in the middle so these guys are probably normal so what I think I need to do in order to do the diamond spikes is that I need to make a diamond sword so you correct put that this and this into it and you get the regular one but I think this is actually wrong these are the wooden cross guards if we take a look at the recipe it looks like they're probably going to be the metal cross guards which means we're gonna need iron for those as well so we can't do this so let's go ahead and do some cross guards we're gonna see if we're right uh, about this so one two three four and we're gonna go do this and then we're gonna do this and this is how you make some of these adventures toolbox tools we can't actually make the the regular ones here I have these because I'm kind of grandfathered into the situation. I got these before I did all of the updates to 112 and it changed the whole world, but I still have my tools, which is amazing um, and, and good. But if we ever start a new world, which is a long time from now, don't worry, this world's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, then yeah, of course we'll have to redo some of this stuff. But until then I'm keeping my awesome tools because I just am. That's just kind of the way things work. Sorry that you don't have my awesome tools, but Anyway, now, so what we want to do is go ahead and get you. We're going to get this guy, and we're going to get this guy. This is a shapeless recipe, but as you can see, this is what it looks like. Okay, if we go into this guy, we can see that, well, granted, if we go into this guy, we can see that we have the right iron sword for this recipe. For this one, I'm pretty sure all we have to do to get the right iron sword is to add, just add a diamond to it. But we're going to try to just use these to see if they work. So we're going to go ahead and put in three, three, and three boom now we have four swords we're going to try to put this in here just to see if it works just to see if we can actually get one of these spikes without having any issues we cannot okay so now let's try this to see if this actually oh i thought you were able to craft this just like so oh maybe not how do you do the adornments that's what they're called the adornments let's look in our book here to see what it says about adornments uh weapons materials adornments Tools made with. Uh-oh. Do I have to remake everything? Ooh, maybe I have to stick... Oh, I do. I have to stick it in there. So these tools are actually only good for an iron spike. Let's go ahead and make an iron spike because we might only be able to make three of the regular spikes. Three of the diamond spikes because I don't have a whole lot of diamonds. Uh, shoot, I might only be able to make two of them. I might have to make two iron spikes, which will still kill the mobs, but it won't do it as fast. Uh, I think that's the difference. I might not get XP from it. I'm not sure exactly. I'm gonna have to go mining in, in order to actually replace some of this stuff. We do anything with this after it's made? No, it's probably just a wasted block after we mine it back up. Anyway, so if we now do, uh, you guys actually, I don't need you, so we're gonna put you away. If we do back to the cross guard here, one, two, three, four, get all four, and then we do this, and we're gonna do four of you, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. I need to do one, two, three, four, and I need the sword blade here, like a so, and then we do this. So we have four, four, and one, two, three, four. Now we have those. Now if we add in one, two, three, four diamonds, we should get four of those swords, and now we should be able to get the diamond spike. And I think this is going to work out just fine, and it is! Now we have one diamond and one iron. Okay, so... If we're gonna set this guy up over here somewhere. I did say over here, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did, but my spawners are right there and I really don't wanna do it right there. Let's do it uh, off to the side. We're gonna, we're gonna clear this area out. Now I did install fast leaf decay, but for some reason it's not actually working on these small little bush things. 
I'm not even sure it's working on, on any of the trees or anything either. But uh, whatever, it is what it is. So we're just going to clear out a little bit of a space here. Now the way I want to do this, since we do get XP from the spikes, I want to go ahead and actually make sure... Uh, I don't need any of you guys. Can you get out of my inventory? No apple, no berry. Is that it? Did I pick up everything else? I guess that's all I got. Okay. Well, in the sapling, but whatever. All right. The way that I want to do this, basically... Really? You're going to set up that way? Was there something over there that you, you wanted in that direction? I guess we're going to do one in the center as well. Then we're going to do this here. And this here. Now, eventually, they will all be changed out for spike or for spikes for diamond spikes, because, well, <laughs> diamond is always better. But I need to go mining a lot. For whatever reason, my diamonds are gone. I don't know where they went. I don't, oh look at all the stuff that's in my inventory now. Okay, go away, barrow, potato, lettuce, bell pepper, wheat. I knew there was a lot of this stuff over here. I don't need any of you. None of you. None of you is needed. Okay, move. And neither are you. Okay. But, uh, yeah, diamonds are good. But for whatever reason, my diamonds are gone. I don't know where they went or what happened to them, but I know I had a huge amount, and now I don't. But I guess it makes sense. I did come to a new world. I did kind of bring over my old one with me a little bit, but it makes sense that some things are going to break, and I suppose that does make things a little bit more fair if I have to go and redo some stuff. Since so much stuff changed, changed and since I'm going to keep all of these things while keeping all the new mods too, I kind of have a little bit of a better whatever whatever than uh, most of you guys. So it's, I don't know, it is what it is. It's kind of fair that I lose something, right? Now the good thing about these is that you can walk into the side of them and not get hurt. This is a very important thing because we're not actually going to have much protection above this. Uh, we're just going to have some other things. And I think, I don't know exactly how I'm going to protect things. But I do know that we're going to basically go one above, okay? This is where the feet are going to go. And we're going to have this block empty. So if we go up one more, and then we come out. Uh, and then we're going to have a ring of these guys all the way around. And I like down there at the bottom left how it actually shows uh, right beside the, the toolbars and stuff how many of these blocks I have left. It's really, really cool, actually. I like that. So we're going to have a little bit of a protection here. Now, there's two blocks high here. And most of the mobs, if not all of them, are, uh, are only two blocks high. But in case some of them are jumping, I want to add one more box, box block on top of these guys that is going to allow other mobs to fall on their head and stack on top of them Regardless of how tall they are, i.e. Enderman, if we ever get those guys in this grinder thing before we switch over to a more permanent version. Or uh, maybe the mobs are jumping or whatever, whatever. I just want to make sure that every mob is going to go down in there as fast as they possibly can. So we're going to go ahead and do some of this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead, bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay. And now we're going to go one block above with this shadow stone here. Um, why shadow stone? Because I feel like it. I really don't need shadow stone. Um, I can use this for the walls so that spiders can't, uh, go on top, but I don't really need that much, actually. So I can go one block above this with regular stone brick, which I think we're gonna do, actually. I've changed my mind. The design has changed on the fly. Who would have thought? It's Zog. Alright, so... Spawners actually go, of course, you want to go four blocks in every direction, not counting the block the spawner is in. So we have the middle one here. So we actually have one on each side. So this is actually number two. You have number three, and then you have number four. So this is going to be the bottom layer. We're going to do this on all of the sides here. Now, the next step is actually to get these guys in here. Now, don't worry. <laughs> I have protected this so we can't fall on the spikes and die because that would be very, very catastrophic and terrible. Well, I guess it would be completely catastrophic. But getting from up there from down here without too much water to land in, I might be able to find a way to get there. I'm not sure. Maybe an ender pearl or something that I have up there. Mid spare elytra. But I'm pretty sure all of my spare gear is actually down here. So I would have to find a way to get from up there down here if I died. I might want to remedy that before it actually happens. But anyway, I protected myself here. So if we just go like this, these guys right here are actually kind of overpowered. These are the things that I was talking about. This is the slowest one. I think that should probably be the fastest, fastest speed. Now, this isn't why I'm not getting the faster ones. The faster ones are just more expensive. Diamonds, and I've already told you I kind of run out of diamonds. And these guys right here are diamonds and emeralds. 
I think I have the emeralds, ironically, but I don't have the diamonds, so it's kind of another one of those deals. Anyway, the, okay, so they do break by hand, and you do get them back, which is good. We're going to go ahead and do this in a strategic manner, so that way we don't accidentally fall in before we really, really want to, which we're probably going to end up doing anyway, but it is what it is. So if we go like this, and like this, I don't know how many... I don't know if I have enough of these guys. I think I do, but you really never know. So this corner is going to go straight into that one. Okay. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to go, this corner is going to go straight into this one. And then this corner is going to go straight into that one. And then this corner is going to go straight into that one. Okay. So now I'm going to have trouble getting out of this hole, but I want to make sure this concept works. So yeah. Okay. We go straight into it. So now I can't get out. <laughs> All right. So break, break. Okay, so you can break them by hand or with a pickaxe, and it actually takes the same amount of time. That's actually kind of cool. I don't mind that. That doesn't bother me at all. Uh, okay, so uh, if we want to do this now, uh, let's see. Let's see. We're going to end up... This is going to be difficult to do. I guess we're going to have... I'm going to have glass on the outside of this. Okay, it's a special kind of glass called shadow glass. Now, this stuff is very, very cool. And after I get some, I'm going to show you why. But I need to go into the end, the end, the nether and get some more soul sand because I seem to have run out. All right, this trip, really, really not the hardest thing in the world. Just kind of, kind of doing my thing. All the soul sand I think I need. Yeah, we should be good. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, oh, I hear him. I hear him. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. You're done. Okay, moving on. Now, this stuff right here is really cool. Let me show you why. Number one, you can see through it. Number two, it blocks light. Number three, if you're not holding shift, you can walk right through it, which is really kind of cool, actually. Now, um... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's useful to get into, you know, the mob farms and stuff, which, yes, we can walk through it, but mobs cannot. It is solid for mobs. At least it's supposed to be. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to test that because I have the stuff right down here. And once we break this out, the mobs are going to be standing right inside this thing, dying the whole time. So it's going to be, uh, it, it, it'll be a test. We might, we might not survive this. I don't know for sure, but uh, hopefully we're going to be okay. We're going to find out. But uh, what I want to do is we want to go ahead and... Oh, that's in here, isn't it? Give me the rest of these guys. 40? Is 40 enough? I don't know. 40 is enough. So we're going to go... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, so we're going to do this. And that way I know a little bit about where I can... St I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking. I'm talking circles again. Um, but we, we have these guys down. Once we have these guys down, I'm actually going to put a row of blocks on top of all of these. And that way I have somewhere to walk while I'm placing in all of the, uh, that's wrong. That's going to bug me. Or, uh, give me, give me, and give me. These are supposed to go in this direction to be the same with all of the other directions and things. And yes. Okay, so bloop, boom, 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 and we're done. Okay. So now if I go in through here, we're going to put, like I said, a row of blocks on top of this. So that way we can actually walk around while we're putting in all of the uh, spawners in here. And I can also put the next row of this. And I think after that, we don't really need much because the spiders cannot climb this. Number one, they're pushed to the center. But number two, they can't climb this. So if we do actually get a spider spawner in here, we can use that as well. And they can all be pushed into the center. It's another reason for having this shadow glass down there at the layer that I have it at. Uh, ooh. I'm going to have to put slabs in there. That won't work. Ooh. Uh, ish. I don't know what happens when they try to climb this. I might have to put some slabs down there. Um, just to see what happens when sp spiders try to climb. Because they can climb slabs... But they can't climb the glass. So once they get up the slab and get to the portion of the wall that is the glass, do they fall all the way back down? Or do they just kind of hover like they do on the top? Uh, you know, like when they get to the top of a hill or the top of a wall or whatever. Do they just kind of float and hover there? Or do they fall all the way back down? It'd be better if they fell. Because then they would hit the spikes and at least they would eventually die even if they... Uh, 
you know, even if it took longer, we'd still be okay. But anyway, I don't know. We'll deal with that later. I do, I am going to need more of this glass because I want two rows and that way we can walk right in if we ever have to do any kind of work on this thing, uh, say to bring in the spawners that I was talking about. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of want to do a few layers. I don't only want two, but it depends on how much glass I have and it depends on how much soul sand I have. The soul sand we're going to be good with I don't know about the sand. I don't have my mega super auto smelter thing anymore. I don't have too much. So I'm not exactly sure how well this is going to work. Well, now it's time for the fun part. Uh, oh wait, it's this button. That's right. I changed the buttons because shift is actually something else. It's actually how you place the uh, placeable items. The uh, 3D renders or the 3D models of things. Now we're going to do this. We're going to go into the block a little bit and then we're going to hold shift because after you start going into a block, you can actually continue going through it until you leave. And then shift prevents you from moving forward. So we're going into this block and this block, which will allow us to keep moving forward, but we have not yet gone into the block below us where our feet would be. So then we start holding shift so we can continue going through these blocks and then stand on that third one, which is really kind of cool. Um, it's a very neat little thing. I don't know. It's just... Uh, just one of those things, I guess. But if we go like that, of course you do. That's fine. It's okay. Ouch. Ouch, Ace. Gotcha. Okay. So that guy's going to keep on spawning, I'm guessing. There it goes. Okay. So he can't see me and you can't come through, stupid. Ha, 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 ha. I was really hoping that this was going to be lit up a lot more. Um, I need to make sure it is lit so that these guys can't actually come through. Um, and, and, you know, kill me and stuff. So these guys are, you know, going to keep spawning until I light up Al. Whoa, 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 man. What's up with the bull? We're also going to get meat from this. Did I not mention that? Because Animania allows mobs to spawn on their mobs, which is actually a really cool concept here. Um, in a little bit and then go and then it's a bull. Ouchies. Okay, we're good. We're good there, I think. Now I just need to keep laying these torches, and hopefully these torches here will prevent the mob spawning enough for us to actually go through. Another thing that I could do is actually break these blocks out, but I'm still a little bit worried that once I break these, I'm going to fall on top and then hit the spikes below. So I would rather leave them in until the last possible second and then break them. Um, and then it'll just kind of make things work and everything should be good. But I think that'll prevent the spawning just enough so we can go ahead and collect the rest of our spawners and place them in here. So these guys are always a hassle. They're always stressful because obviously they're creepers. So not only can they blow you up, not only can they blow up whatever structure you just built, but now we're dealing with spawners and spawners are not the strongest thing in the world. So they can actually blow up their own spawner too. So it's very, very dangerous for us to let them spawn while we're still building. So what I've done is I kind of reverted my previous position and that I did break out the stone here. We're also going to preemptively break out everything else that uh, is going to, I, I don't, I don't know. We're going to do a lot of stuff here. Okay. Um, by doing this, I want, okay. Those are already gone, gone, gone. So I want to break these guys out. Uh, and as I go around in the circle, I actually want to break out the torches on the wall too, which is going to let these guys spawn, but hopefully they all... Oh, 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 crap. Oh. Okay, there we go. You see it working. It is a little loud, but it is working. So now I need to go in here and do this strategically all the way around the circle. Uh, because this is basically what would have happened with the creepers beforehand. Um, and it's a very, very bad situation if that does indeed happen with the creepers. Because, like I said, they go boom rather than just try to shoot me. So it's really, really, really dangerous for us to, to do this while they're here. So we're going to basically remove all of this. Except for a very small, thin path. Eh? Uh, around this circle area so that way we can kind of do what we need to do here. I think I can reach it Let's see I can reach it. I guess from this path here I think I should be able to reach it and actually put that thing in so we're gonna get rid of this one as well So hopefully if I do this they can all go down there and get them later 
Hopefully I should, oh, this is the wrong one, hold on. Let's do it off the side a little bit. Let's do it the right, right position. And that way we're not confusing ourselves and all we have to do is just kind of go straight. So then we can go back up a little bit, get in here and shift. So now hopefully all we have to do is come up with our spawner and shift in, place and back out. And we can even just jump straight through the gra grass, glass just to make sure that these guys aren't going to see us, follow us and blow us up. Because now everything is prepped and ready except for these two blocks. I place in the last spawners and I get the crap out of there. And then everything should be working and we can set up the final steps. And here's to hoping all this goes according to that kind of a plan without any other bad things happening. And now for the final touch, I've made the advanced item collector. I know the, the texture's still wrong. I gotta work on the textures here. I, I don't know when at some point. For, for, for a while, this is likely gonna be messed up. The same with the Batania stuff as well. But we do have the advanced item collector here. We do have a chest. So we're gonna try to do some of this stuff like a so. So I should be able to go in here. The radius, this is a filter. The radius is five by five by five, which should be plenty to get all of this stuff in here. So now what's going to happen, if I do this and disable the thing, this guy is going to collect all of the drops from this. I just have to stand in the area. Actually, wait, there's one more thing I wanna do. Okay, pretty sure we do have a problem at the very least. Um, I think the iron spikes actually kill the items. Every now and then we do get a little bit. So we're getting enough to kind of survive. I just have to stand here for a while. But what I think it's killing the experience as well, which means we can't repair our items very easily. So I think we're definitely gonna have to switch the iron spikes out for the diamond spikes. I think the reason we're getting some items but not a whole lot of them is because we only have two of the diamond spikes. So you see how that item kind of disappeared. Well, I actually went in here. Sometimes I guess this item co collector can actually pick it up fast enough. But sometimes I think what's happening is that those uh, items are landing on the iron spikes and disappearing. The same way the experience is. You see it's kind of just poof. Uh, this guy does not collect experience. He only collects items. So I'm pretty sure these items are getting destroyed. I don't see any other anything for that. I, I want to try to witness it with gunpowder. I think, yeah, see, there you go. There's two more that popped out and they disappeared and we still have 16. So some of the items are, are getting destroyed and I think it's the diamond spikes that's not killing the uh, the items and the experience. We have to upgrade these guys uh, sometime very, very soon. I need to go mining and actually get that done. But for now, I think we're okay. We can get enough gunpowder. It's not huge. We can also get the, uh, you know, the bones and the, the, the meat too, actually. We can get all that stuff that we absolutely need and it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Did I put any dirt in here? I did not, but I do have some here, which should do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and patch this hole up. And I think that's going to be about it, guys. So if you liked the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Do what you do. And I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps.